The next presenter is Lars Gush, CEO at Pharmacolog. Welcome. Thank you very much, Nicole. So today I will speak about medication safety and drug diversion prevention, as suggested by the headline. You may ask yourself why. Yeah, because it's a problem if you don't address those two things uh, in your uh, daily use in medication practice. So you may or may not know, but here are some facts about the price of the uh, errors in medication uh, safety and drug diversion prevention. There is actually an increased pressure on pharmacy personnel, which leads to medication errors. And that causes patient harm, material damage, and worst of all, patient deaths. If you look at the middle of the slide, you see the price of the errors. That, we, that is 1.5 million Americans are harmed by preventable medication errors annually. And this causes a damage of about 3.5 billion US dollars per year. If we look at drug diversion, that's about the same thing. We um, see drug diversion as a part of the opioid, opioid crisis in the US. And that causes also suffering for people, material damage and fatalities. Avoiding those problems is what we work at Pharmacolog every day. So my name is Lars Gush. I'm the CEO of Pharmacolog. And I want to tell you a little bit more about our company, about our technology, about our solutions and how we want to conquer the market within medication safety and drug diversion prevention as Pharmacolog. The company was founded as a medtech startup in 2007. Our first commercial introduction of the Druglog product was in March 2017. We introduced another product in 2020, which is called Wastelog, and both are systems for verification of injectable medication. We are listed on NASDAQ First North, and we are present in more than 45 hospitals throughout the whole world, but mainly in the US and Europe. And there are big hospitals we, uh, that uh, has chosen our solutions. For instance, New York Presbyterian, UCLA, Johns Hopkins, and UT Southwestern. And the most important of all, with our installations of about 107 devices, we have a database now of more than 150 identif identifiable substances, which covers 80 to 90% of the most common substances to be analyzed in those hospitals. So how does our technology work? It's based on absorption spectro spectroscopy. That has, is a rather classic technique. It has been there since the 1700s. Um, but we actually put a special touch on, on that technology by analyzing the broadband spectrum of the substances. And this gives us our unique IP and also gives us the um, identification of both the substance and the concentration of the substances. It's also worth to mention that our technology um, requires very small sample sizes and is non-destructive. So what else makes us unique? Yeah, it's the broadband spectrum analysis, which I mentioned before, but it's also our advanced data processing and, and analytics, our IoT capability of our devices, which actually in a combination gives us big data in our field. So we have an enormous number of measurements and analysis from customers all over the world, which we can provide then back to other customers all over the world through our IoT capability of the devices. So um, let's uh, look at where in the medication use process we position ourselves. It's actually in medication safety where we do quality control and it's also in drug diversion prevention where we do waste screening. Our mission 
is to provide solutions and products within drug administration and delivery for accurate and individually optimized patient treatment. Let's deep dive into medication safety and quality control. So what is it about? It's about medication errors. As I mentioned before, drugs in the medication use process have to be delivered in the, with the right drug and the right concentration. If that doesn't happen, then we have a medication error. So the WHO estimates that the medication errors causes about 163,000 deaths in Europe alone, which corresponds to a cost of approximately 7 billion euros. And this affects all patients, relatives and healthcare staff. And of course, by that has increased focus from the authorities, both in the United States and in the European Union. So guidelines are put in place, which actually require quality control of the prepared substances. So we are going from QA to QC in the good manufacturing process of uh, medications. And we are there with our solution, DrugLock. That targets a market of about 3,500 uh, hospitals in Europe, globally about 15,000 hospitals, and has a market size of 100 million euros, 100, 180 million euros. If we look at drug diversion prevention, um, it's actually the diversion of potent drugs, so basically the stealing of drugs within the hospital, that is the problem. It happens in all healthcare facilities and very uh, potent drugs are, are uh, diverted or taken by the hospital staff, including fentanyl and hydromorphone, very potent uh, drugs. And of course, this also um, leads to the focus from the authorities. Because the opioid crisis in the US is a very big problem, there has been guidelines put in place and the, the DEA is controlling that those guidelines are followed and drug diversion is reported. So two-thirds of professionals perceive risks of fines in their hospitals from the DEA and we see just the beginning of implementing those drug diversion programs here. We are there with WasteLock as a key element in the chain of custody. Uh, the market potential is about 5,000 um, acute care hospital as a primary target for our solution, but also with additional markets in ambulatory surgical centers and palliative care centers. The estimated market size is about 840 million US dollars. And the competition is basically non-existing at the moment. It's a 4i method, so basically witnessing, witnessing from a human being when wasting drugs. So where are we now? We, has, we have actually established our solutions, drug log in the European market in Belgium, France and Spain. And we have also established waste log as drug diversion prevention key element for very huge hospitals in the United States, like UCLA, Presby New York Presbyterian, and UT Southwestern and Johns Hopkins hospitals. We have two very competent partners on hand in the fields of medication safety and drug diversion preven prevention with B. Brown in Europe and Codonics in the United States. But we also want to accelerate our business and want to make our products available quicker and to more customers. And this is our future strategy. We want to lowering the investment threshold to our, for our systems by implementing a software as a service business model, basically split, split of the high capital investment and keeping the scalability both for Pharmacolog and our customers. We also want to look at our distribution channels uh, we want to broaden our distribution channels regionally 
and we're looking into integration with uh, medical information systems as a, as a competent partner in the field of uh, in the, in this market segment. So as a summary, we think we have a very strong technology and IP. We have proven uh, revenue and an established customer base. And by following the market and seeing the fo increased focus on both areas, we see a lot of growing market potential. And with our new strategy of accelerating the sales with uh, the software as a service model and expanding our partnership and distribution network, we feel that we can um, increase our market very much in the future. And my first question is about your latest report, because during Q1 this year, you achieved your highest sales uh, report so far. Would you like to explain uh, what is behind this increase? Yeah, this is actually a result of our partner network with our partner Incodonics, mainly in the US. Um, so they ordered uh, a lot of systems now, which, which uh, is the main reason for the increase. But we also see an increase of uh, system sales in Europe uh, for, the, for the quality control in area. I see. And you are new as the CEO of the company. What is your vision? Well, my vision is to make this technology available to even more customers and uh, actually focusing even more on those two um, uh, areas, medication errors and drug diversion uh, to prevent those uh, two things with our systems and integrate the system into the whole workflow of, uh, of, these, uh, of the medication use process. You have a rights issue coming up in June. So I'm curious, how will you spend the money? Well, we, we plan to spend the money actually on commercialization of our products. So by broadening our distributor network, uh, broadening our sales efforts and also build the system, implement the new strategy as software as a service, improving the products towards that and also integrate with other partners uh, there. So that will be the bulk uh, amount of money that we plan to spend there. I see. Good luck and thank you so much for coming. Thank you very much.